First time in the Ulster Hall ring as a professional for Eamon McCauley, the 20-year-old who left Belfast when he was in his early teens, went then to Manchester and to London and went on to take the ABA lightweight title in 1985. McCauley in the plain trunks, uh, rather dark pinkish shade, and his opponent, the experienced Les Ramiki from Croydon. Macaulay, his second professional fight, his first in May in Wembley when he outpointed another experienced man, Dean Bramald, over six rounds. And Macaulay going six threes. Oh, that's what it's done for for the first time in his career. Now, Macaulay, a reputation as a very, very solid puncher indeed. And when he had as a great uncle the late and sadly missed Rinty Monaghan. That's the sort of pedigree that this young man has. Another member of the Eastwood stable, the youngest member of the Eastwood stable, managed by Barney Eastwood and trained by Eddie Shaw. And a useful opponent indeed for him in the 24-year-old Les Ramiki from Croydon. Macaulay doing a little bit of wrestling. The very experienced referee, Larry McConnell, just separating them. Mickey's been in with some pretty useful men like Mo Hussain and Keith Foreman. So it's a considerable test for young Macaulay in only a second professional fight. Yes, and again, Macaulay doing a little sw swinging, and Larry O'Connell just telling him that. It's nice for Macaulay. A couple of nice short left hands. Good combination of head and body from Macaulay at the end of this first round. Just taking his time, he doesn't want to rush things. And the right hand inside, and one from Ramiki just to pay him back. There's the 20-year-old Eamon McCauley. Bobby McAllister having a word with them. BJ Eastwood coming in to have a word as well. Former Ulster and Ireland juvenile champion when he was with the Sacred Heart Club, but left there in his mid-teens to go across to England. That kid's all right in that last fight. Second to lead. Eamon McCauley in the dark pink trunks. A little bit slow to come out of his corner. Les Ramiki 
in black with the white stripe, the 24-year-old from Croydon, born in Manchester, managed and trained by Freddie Ricks. again from Macaulay but Ramiki's a fairly strong character and he's taken them so far without too many problems an absolute clash of heads there and Ramiki is very badly cut over the eye in fact it's right in the middle of his forehead and the blood fairly streaming down as a little nick has just opened and I don't think this is going to continue much longer Larry O'Connell had a glance and decided it wasn't too serious it certainly wasn't impairing the boxer's vision but Dramiki is absolutely pouring blood. Doesn't seem to bother them too much. And yes, I think this is going to have to be stopped because there is simply far too much blood. I think Larry O'Connell is going to have that cut looked at. And Ramiki is going to have to be retired, yes. Larry O'Connell has stopped it. McCauley himself will be disappointed with that because things were shaping up nicely for him. He was approaching his second professional fight in a truly professional manner, and McCauley himself will not be all that terribly pleased, as will Les Ramiki, but that had to be stopped because of a cut to Ramiki. Certainly felt it. Totally accidental. 